Hey guys, this is Joy. Welcome to Ask Joy. I am so glad that you all are here joining. I am Joy M. Hutton. Again, I am the founder and principal consultant of Joy of Consulting. All right, warning, I have no sense. So roll with me. I like delivering content in the most raw and transparent way. So hopefully you all will enjoy this as much as I do. Okay, the purpose of this series is to answer your most pressing business questions and to dispel the myths about what I do. So a lot of people seem to think that I'm the nonprofit girl. I've been put in a box as the nonprofit girl. Well, yes, I work with nonprofits, but that is not all that I do. I'm also not a marketing and PR guru, but I know lots of people who are and if you need any referrals, I can certainly uh, give you those names. Okay, so what does Joy of Consulting do? We help companies with their organizational structure. We help them with training and development and process optimization, so helping them implement systems. And this is not limited to nonprofits. We do work with nonprofits, government entities, corporations and restaurants. Okay, so that is what Joy of Consulting does. All right, so if you need a training program developed or delivered for your employees, done. If you need help implementing systems, done. Okay, so let's get started. I'm really excited. People actually did send in questions, so we're gonna go ahead. And some of those are non-business related questions and we're, we're gonna work with that. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Some of these questions, as I said, are not business related, and those will be, those will be uh, bonus questions. So, for example, this bonus question I got. Joy, are you single? Well, the answer to that question is yes. I am very single. Now don't ask me again. All right, so to the real question. This question is from Adrian in Boston. So excited, something outside of Houston. Um, so the question is, how do you know when you are ready to start a business? And thank you, thank you very much, Adrian, for your question. Okay, so this is a perfect question to start off this series because of course we are talking about your most pressing questions in business. And if you do have any questions to ask me, please, Send questions to hello at joyofconsulting.com or you can message me on Facebook or social media. All right, so again, how do you know when you are ready to start a business? All right, the first thing is what is what you are offering adding value to your customers? In other words, can you explain to someone why the heck they should spend their money and their time on your product and service? If you cannot answer that question, you probably don't need to start a business or you're just not ready to. And also, when you're explaining to people what your business is, do you actually have a network to explain to? So make sure that you have friends and family, coworkers, anybody that can support your business, what product and service you're actually selling. Okay, so when you decide, this is number two, that you actually can add value to, to people, can you explain it to people in terms they can understand? So some people say it's the grandma, grandma test. Can you explain to your senile gr grandmother exactly what you do? All right, so three, should this be a full-on business or just a side kick? side gig and understand people it's okay to have a side gig but think long and hard before you quit your day job don't be impulsive think about if this is something that you can just strictly do on the side and and fill whatever void it is you think you want to fill okay number four what's your pet competitive advantage what is going to help you stand out if you cannot identify something that makes you unique you probably don't need to be running your running a business Okay, number five, do you really know your target audience? If not, then you need to do some research. So sometimes people say create a pers persona. What does your ideal customer look like? You can name them Barbara, Bill, whoever, but what do they look like? What is the ideal company? What is the ideal person for your product or service? So think about that. 
Six, finally, how are you going to fund your business? As a business owner, we have to get really creative about how we're going to fund our business. Some people bootstrap, some people take loans, but think about that if it's a business that you have that has little to no overhead, then you're in a great position. However, it's, if it's not, then you have to identify the right resources to fund your business. So this is our first question. A little rough today, but we're gonna work through this every week. But if you have other questions, please send them to hello at Joy of Consulting. And I know this is a lot of information, but hopefully you were taking notes. And if you weren't, go ahead and press replay, like, comment, share. And I hope to see you guys next week, Friday at noon.